How's everybody doing today? It's Sterling Smith from Loot and Booty Barbecue. We're back with Green Mountain Grills. We're making pizzas. The best. I always love these pizzas. I'm with Eric, and Eric's a local radio personality here in Phoenix, Arizona. He's gonna show us one of his favorite pizzas that he likes to make. First off, the Green Mountain Grill pizza of an attachment. So simple. That's what I love the most about it. You know, you go to those restaurants and you spend all the money to get the wood fire, and you, you walk out, you broke your dang bank, and you're like, well, I'm not happy. Done that at home. Yeah, and then you have a bottle of wine, you can't drive home, and it's just not what you want to do. So the Green Mountain Grill makes it so flippin' easy. First off, one of the things that I have found that is a major, major key to a good pizza, the dough. Absolutely. Now, you can get dough at any of, the, any of your local grocery stores, but for a couple extra bucks, get on the computer, Google an Italian grocery store, mm -hmm. find one, they're gonna have pizza dough. It's worth the extra money. I did it here, so simple. They're gonna do it so right. Good. They have the, the double O flour that they use, exactly. the yeast, uh, they use the nice water, the lukewarm. They make it perfect. Anybody in the backyard can just go pick one of these up, a couple bucks and it's easy. And it saves you the effort of going, well, I don't know if I made the dough right. You know, if you wanna make the dough, you are a better man or woman <laughs> than I am. I mean, I don't wanna deal with it. I wanna just make it, make it simple, get it on the Green Mountain Grill. Quick and easy. So, got the dough rolled out, or again, real simple. Obviously, you want your pizza to look good, but if you're making it for your wife or your kids, let's be honest, if it's a little crooked, we won't tell. We're not gonna be angry with you. Got it rolled out here. Now, I am from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan, we love putting white cheddar on our pizzas in conjunction with shredded mozzarella. I see this, you have three cheeses. What I'm looking at is a meat cheese pizza right here. Yeah. I see pepperoni, I see sausage, I see mozzarella, I see white cheddar, and I see this awesome buffalo mozzarella. Looks like you're gonna put that all together and it's gonna be an amazing meaty cheesy pizza. That's what it's all about, right? Let's do it. The other thing, the uh, sausage, you can make it on the Green Mountain Grill. You can use it from the night before, even yeah. better. All right, got the Green Mountain pizza sauce, real good. You can just go ahead and just throw it on there. You know, I learned a little trick right here. What you got? What you do is when you pour this in here, you take the back of that spoon and you make these little circles and you circle it out. I learned that from watching a Domino's pizza commercial. Yeah, Papa John don't have anything on us. Not at all. Not Need at more all. of that sauce. A little bit more right in there. There we go. Now, another trick is about the moisture on this, you know, with this dough. Um, not putting a lot of sauce on it, it'll keep it a uh, nice pliable and firm pizza. Uh, I like to do the same thing, just spread it all around, and then you're gonna start building your toppings, right? Exactly. Now, do you have, being from Detroit, I know some people do meat, cheese, cheese, meat. How are you gonna build it? I'm gonna go with cheese base. I'm gonna do the uh, white cheddar as a cheese base. Awesome. Comes in a big old block. You can go ahead and you can shred it if you want. I just went ahead and diced it up with a knife in the kitchen, simple enough. Again, you're making it look good for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead now and mix in some mozzarella, throwing some of that on there. Man, this pizza looks like it's gonna be awesome and cheesy. That's what it's about, right? I mean, pizza's gotta have cheese and sauce. And now, another thing, like I said, you have some sausage you cooked up the night before on the Green Mountain, or maybe you did it ahead of time. Smoking the sausage is perfect to do. Just crumble it up, it's so easy. Crumble it up, layer some um, of that pepperoni on there. Now, Absolutely. now, Eric, being a local radio personality, I'm sure you get to interact with a lot of interesting people on a daily basis. Do you have any interesting stories you'd like to tell us about anybody you've you know, I have. I've been very fortunate. I've been in the business now for uh, almost 11 years. Awesome. And you get to meet all sorts of people. Uh, everything from your listeners, which are always unique and different, but you got to love them because they're the ones that pay the bills. So you always love your listeners. But, you know, I always love an artist who isn't just an artist, is likes to give back to his fans. And the best example of that would be the Zach Brown Band. They don't just do a traditional meet and greet where you go and meet the artist and you say hi to him, you get a quick picture and you're gone. They do something really cool called an eat and greet. Yeah. Because Zach actually is a world renowned chef, owns restaurants in the Atlanta area, is all about smoking meats, oh, all about these things. So when he does his eat and greets, he brings uh, a chef along on the road with him, a huge trailer to tow behind the buses, yeah. it is a commercial kitchen. And they go to local markets, they get local ingredients, and they cook dishes for all their listeners. That's great. So you're going back for the meet and greet, and there's Zach Brown scooping you out. You know, maybe it's his mac and cheese recipe, right. or maybe it's some pulled pork. It's all a rib amazing. bone or something yeah. like that. How cool is that so that he's good. interacting with people? And so good. So we got the toppings on the pizza there. Now I'm going to throw some more cheese on there. Because, again, I love the cheese on the pizza. So we're going to go ahead and throw some more of that white cheddar across the top of it. Put this thing more. looks beautiful, meaty and cheesy. Meaty, cheesy. I think we're about ready to get this thing in the oven. What do you Absolutely, think? Absolutely, but we got one last thing. We got to make sure we get on there. Oh, that now, buffalo mozzarella. You got a little buffalo mozzarella on there again. Get some of that real there quick, you go. Man. It's, I love this mozzarella. It's, it feels uh, 
so easy to tear up. It's 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 smooth. It has a nice saltiness to it. Yep. This is some of the best cheese out there. And again, you can get all these ingredients at your grocery store. But you know, I gotta say, one thing I'd really recommend you do is again go find that local Italian market. You're gonna spend a couple extra bucks. But my goodness, you are going to get that stuff that's so fresh and Fresh so ingredients, good. real ingredients. You're going to get some local ingredients as well. You're helping uh, local businesses as well. Absolutely. I love and that part another of it. thing I like about it too is usually the people working in there, they are very knowledgeable. Right. Nothing against your local grocery store, but you might be getting a kid five minutes ago that was pushing a cart in in 120 degrees. And now he's trying to tell you what kind of cheese you want. Exactly. You go there, you're talking to multiple generations of people who know the, ingredients. know the ingredients. It's fresh, right. it's good, I love it. Like All right, perfect. so we gotta get this bad boy in the Green Mountain. Now, one trick that I have that I like to do, and I'm sure I see that you're using it as well, is that uh, semolina flour. Yeah. And what that's gonna do is add that, that viscosity or that uh, launch exactly. to help the pizza get off this pill and Absolutely. right into the, to the stone. So grab that, let's get it on. So we have your pizza ready to go. We have the semonella flour in the front so we can launch it easily. You got the stone sitting right about 700. Definitely recommend getting a uh, infrared gun to be able to tell the temperature. Slide it right in. Now, it's only gonna be in there for a few minutes. All right, we'll go ahead and pull it out. Oh, look how beautiful look that thing that. is. Bubbling. You know what? Those bubblies, these uh, air, air pockets bubbles. in there. I love that, my kids love that too. Right Heck there. yeah. That's how you make a pizza. And the best part about it, you can do it yourself. So Eric, we got this pizza, it looks beautiful. Go ahead and cut that thing up. I can't wait to get in this thing. So good. We have what, literally four or five ingredients here. Uh, we set the smoker to 400 degrees on that, on that stone. It was around 700 degrees. So this only took what? Three, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes and that's so it. So easy. Also, another way to tell that this pizza is done, when you look in there, that cheese is gonna be bubbling. Uh, the crust is gonna, gonna start getting dark around the edges. And you can actually feel the bottom. It's gonna be a little bit crusty. Always watching, always looking the pizza. You don't want it to burn. Yep. You know, you wanna be the, the pizza hero. Not, so not make zero. sure you're looking at the pizza, look at the cheese, look at the bottom, make sure it's not burning. This pizza looks amazing, Eric. Hold off on the, hold off on the wine is what you're saying oh. until, you it, know. It's wine time right now. Yeah, we absolutely. just got this pizza. Grab a piece, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this one right here. This All one right. looks beautiful. Eric, thank you very much for coming out and helping thank me cook you. this pizza. Cheers. It's awesome. The Green Mountain Grills does it every time.